All right, the goal of this example is we're gonna find the present value of a six year, $100,000 continuous income string that has been compounded continuously at 4.9%. All right, so we're given a lot of information there. Let's see if we can fill it all into the present value formula. So our present value formula, what that's gonna have is our present value is gonna be equal to the integral between zero and however long this is gonna be. So this is our time frame of six years. So six goes up here. And then our function, this is a continuous function of $100,000 each year. So 100,000 gets plugged in for f of t. This has e raised to the negative. This is our rate for r, so 4.9%, but we need to switch that to a decimal. So two decimal places over, multiplied by t, and this has a dt at the end. All right, next up, what I would probably do first is go ahead and move that constant, the 100,000 out front. So we still have e raised to the power on the inside here, but at least it looks a little bit cleaner. We can always move constants out in front. All right, next up, we'd like to integrate what we have inside here. But to do so, um, we kind of have a function inside of another function. So let's use a u substitution off to the side here. I'm gonna let u equal our inner function being the exponent this time. And then we're going to take the derivative of both sides. So we get du equals just this constant dt. Well, we have a dt we can replace in here, but we don't have this constant. So let's go ahead and move that to the other side by dividing both sides by that decimal or multiplying both sides by one over that decimal. But that'll get dt on one side by itself. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and substitute in. All right, so we can fill in, we have the 100,000 out in front. We can fill in e raised to the u power. And then we wanna replace dt with du. And then we have that constant, the one divided by that negative decimal. I'm gonna go ahead and move that decimal out in front. So I'm gonna put it underneath the 100,000. All right, the other thing that we need to be very careful about is these bounds of integration from zero to six. These were values of t because we had a dt here. Now we want them to be values of u because we're integrating with respect to u. So how we convert those over is we are going to use our let statement again. I know a u value that's equivalent to six as a t value is when we plug in six in for t in this equation. So I got this to be negative 0 0.294. Plugging in the zero is gonna be a little bit easier. Probably don't need the calculator for that because zero times anything is zero. So the lower bound is still zero, but we're gonna change the upper bound to negative 0 0.294. All right, now to finish this up, I'm gonna bring the constant along. We're gonna integrate, so we go e to the u, it's antiderivative is also e to the u, but that's gonna be evaluated between zero and negative 0 0.294. All right, to finish this up, we're gonna substitute in our bounds of integration. So for this, I think it's gonna be easiest if we leave this constant out in front and go e raised to the upper bound minus e raised to the lower bound. Now that e to the zero power is gonna be equal to one. So I'm putting that in your calculator may be a little bit easier if you just use one there instead of e to the zero, but I got 519,843.895. And in rounding to the nearest dollar, we're gonna round that up to 5,119,844 dollars. All right, so basically every single one of these present value um, formulas, uh, unless your rate happened to be 100%, even if it did happen to be 100%, you're gonna to need to do this U substitution, kind of do some side work to convert that over. So you can get to something that we're really comfortable with integrating. Be careful about the bounds of integration that we would like to change those over to U values as well. 
All right. Hope this helps out as you're figuring out present value. Good luck.